two, three, four. 400,000 subscribers. To everybody who has been here with this channel from the day one, and if you are just new, thank you very much from Eat Read Love Inc. I am very, very excited for all the new things that we are bringing up. So I will see you guys again. Keep liking, keep subscribing, keep, keep sharing. I'm just excited. Until we reach another 100,000 for half a million, 500,000 soon. Bye, guys. Someone's married to someone else, and there are like reasons mm -hmm. in the what logical the, world that you can't be together. What was in your situation? So in our situation, yes, it was um, a 21-year age gap, mm -hmm. me being the older. So that's interesting because I think there's a lot of kind of, um, you know, stigma or ways that people, when they see you together, there's kind of an assumption of like, oh, you're a cougar. Coming this week on Feeling Sisters. Trina stops by the studio to share her insights into karmic ties. So I um, started going deeper into, like, why do we have uh, core mm -hmm. issues that maybe we're trying our whole lives to shift, and they, you know, they're really, some things, the roots are deep, and mm -hmm. we can't seem to get rid of them. The tarot, the community, mm -hmm. you know, the tarot it's community is just... exploding. It's just, <laughs> it's yeah. just everywhere, right? Yeah. But yeah. I want to tap into that part where you uh, you mentioned um, distance healing. Yes. How is it practiced? Tune in to new episodes of Feeling Sisters every Sunday on Eat, Read, Love. Hi, everyone. Welcome to my channel. We're doing your reading. This is just a brief announcement. We'll make it fast, okay? So for people who are new, welcome. And for if you're an OG, go right away to the reading. Um, how it works, um, you can watch, you know, you can watch reading from your Ascendant. Um, you can watch it from your Jupiter or Venus. Um, if you're looking for partnership, Venus. And if you're looking for the spouse, then Jupiter. Okay, so those are the placement that would be helpful for you. Um, and uh, what else? Uh, I do follow Sidereal Astrology. Um, Indian astrology um, based on uh, the Vedas. And then what else? Everything in the, is going to be in the description box for the webinars, the workshop. It's all there. If there are classes that you want, it's also down there. Um, extended link will be there. There is two kinds of extended. Extended one and extended two. If you do not resonate with the first one, you might be in a different timeline, meaning I've picked up on your situation prior. So that is going to be in the extended two. All the way to the end, you will see a preview of what happened. So I highly suggest that you go all the way, watch the end of the video so you can see before you even go to the, um, the extended link. Okay, and I do have um, for uh, personal readings, I'm still trying to catch up if, you, if there's nothing in the description box. If there is availability in the description box, then... Um, chances are, you know, I will caught up. But right now, I'm not sure what's there, okay? So when they upload this. Um, so just always check if there is availability in the um, personal reading services. And I also do uh, once, a, once a week, basically, in, in one month, I do four clients for a needle chart. Those are one-hour sessions. On March 21 and March 28, um, there is a webinar for entrepreneurs, so check that out. Um, follow me on Instagram, Salbiadora IG. I post there my transits, transit planets, and the stars. Um, and also, I do tarot reading in IG story. So make sure you follow Sal Biadora. So if you don't see a reading here, you will see a reading over on Instagram. All right? Bye, guys. Oh, no, no, not goodbye. <laughs> so now let's start your reading. Hi, Libra. How are you? To be honest, I want a happy meal. I never had a happy meal. Not the one in McDonald's. Maybe with my family. Mm hmm <laughs> Every mom is watching. What is this about? No, okay. Let's start your reading. No, you, you know, to be honest, I always have this dream. Okay. Because my family is like a soap opera anyway. Okay. It means it has a rise and fall. Okay. <laughs> so, so like that. But I always, when I talk to my sibling, I always wonder when is the whole family going to sit down again at the same table? Just something throwing out there. Mom is watching. Oh, they're separated. <laughs> so I want soap opera. <laughs> so here we go. Let's see what's going on. Let's see what's going on. Mm -hmm, here we go. I got a call from my mom for sure. <laughs> I'm just nostalgic. I'd like to have... 
family dinners and stuff. Let's see, Lenormand, past, present, and future. Mm -hmm. I love people when they're married. Them. <laughs> Let's to be honest, to be clear. Here we go. Mm -hmm. In the passing. Ah, uh, free flow, free flowing. <laughs> Free flowing, not free falling love. Okay, because I did that. Wonderful card. A go with the flow, abundance, shopping, import, import, <laughs> import, export. Okay. Um, this is shopping also. Um, you could have done this recently. Um, this is also with your career, a lot of freedom. Mm -hmm. Like you are your own boss in a way. Okay. Um, you can do whatever you want. Mm -hmm. This is that kind. Um, you can be the boss also. Um, this is if you are um, career-wise, you are more of a artistic, a musician, composer, writer. Um, this is what they're showing also um, with the fish. The fish is abundance because it's like, you know, it's like things are just naturally going where it's supposed to in the past. You got married, you got in a relationship, and everything was just smooth sailing. Okay, sailing, I'm sailing home. Mm -hmm. Now, at present, okay, let's see here. A lot of freedom in the relationship. Mm -hmm. In the present, okay. So there's a lot of um, conversation that needs to happen right now. Mm -hmm. um, if, if there's anything uncertain, okay, I feel like it's going to be clarified. Okay. At present, you want to have a dialogue because majority of the time, you have a monologue. <laughs> I feel like you have, you have prepared a speech, a conversation with a person. And you're now saying, it's like, I feel like we have to talk. Mm -hmm. The talk. Mm -hmm. Let's see. Now, in the foreseeable future here... Let's see. Oh. You want to date. You want to meet a person. This is the garden. Um, the garden is being single. You might want to have the talk because you want to make it official. Because you guys will be seeing each other more frequent. And this is where a date plate is. Date plate? <laughs> date place. <laughs> a date place is. Okay, restaurants, you know, all this, you know, the, the usual, whatever you guys want to do, movies, you know, hanging out, okay. You want to know, are we hanging out or are we something serious? This is in the future card. Mm -hmm. So that's how serious the conversation is. The garden, um, with regards to opportunities, opportunities and job, um, it shows um, a venture, okay, of... You liking what you do right now because you have the, the fish over there, but you want to expand. You want to talk to your boss, to your superior. You want to say, hey boss, I can do this, 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 and that. Or if you're the boss also, you know, you want to, um, if you're business, an entrepreneur, you want to expand your business. Mm -hmm. I like the garden. The garden is good. Garden also reflects memories. You could also be thinking about the past. It's interesting. You're going to be in the future thinking about the past. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Let's see. Mm -hmm. Knight of Cups. Very free-flowing. Fishy-fishy. Mm -hmm. Younger person. Normally, this would be a Scorpio card. Don't ask me why. Just because it's fifth house Pisces. So here's what happens dating a Scorpio. Let me explain. Okay. If the fifth house is a fish, then they're hard to date. They always like shee, 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 shee. Yeah. <laughs> Go with the flow. Go with the flow. Whatever. Come up, may. Open to whatever. If we are together, we're not together. It's whatever. Okay. Fishy, fishy, fishy. But they want you. Mm. That's that one. Fishy, fishy. So don't so, like for me. I don't look at the ascendant sometimes. I go for the placement itself. Mm. But they like this right now. 
you like it also that you were just going with the flow what, what the day comes wow it involves um you know getting married at later uh, at some point is you okay you like where it's you know it's smooth sailing they do what they have to do and then vice versa they do this you do that yeah. so very equal so both of you agree said let's just see where this goes we don't need to define it but again in, at present at some point you will have to define this mm -hmm. I feel like hmm, I'm leaning towards not having the title but yet still having the title I think the title yes is formality but it, how important is it when both are committed there like naturally they will commit so extracting the whole wor word of exclusivity might make things complicated because mm -hmm. it's already going there mm -hmm. Ooh, okay I don't do reversal, but the king of wands goes reverse. So I, I need to read this reverse. They want... Because there are two ways of looking at this, because the mask is there, um, the conversation. They're going to tell you the truth. That they haven't been talking to anyone or seeing anyone. It's like a brutal truth. Like You know I'm not talking to anyone. There. So it, it might even feel... Like, they're being accused. You see that? How tricky it is if you bring the conversation. Because it's like, wait, what do you mean exclusive? And then you're going to get triggered too. So wait, meaning you're talking to someone? <laughs> you see? So it makes it complicated now. Because you see, it's like, are we exclusive? Wait, I thought we are. And then, no, wait, uh, mm -hmm. you stirred the pot. You stirred the pot. It was all at the bottom. You stirred it to the surface, bringing an issue where it should have been smooth flowing. Mm -hmm. Don't stir the pot. Don't stir the pot. Mm -hmm. Don't disturb the pot right now. Because they will say, I, I am not talking to anyone. You know that, right? And then I'm telling you, they will excuse you of being you being dual. Because you're doing the right thing by going how you want it. Seven of Wands. This is you saying, let's not be open to anyone because the, the the garden is a date card. You're gonna feel, the, you know, it's like you're gonna restrict now. You, this is when things get complicated. When you start to bring the handbook. Okay. So here's the handbook of dating, okay? Paragraph 1.1, when we are exclusive, it means I have the passcode to your phone. Hand it over. <laughs> you just gutted the fish, okay? Instead of the fish free-flowing. Mm -hmm. Telling you, don't make it complicated, Libra. Don't. You're asking for it, though. You're asking to... Don't. Don't. Sometimes if you can just see the future, well, that's why I'm here. <laughs> don't, 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 don't. Don't do that. Ace of Cups. Because mm -hmm. you will restrict them naturally saying, I have feelings for you and I love you. It's almost like you ruined the magic when the magic is already about to happen. By saying, are we together? Are they love? Now the whole tide will turn. They're coming with a message of love. The restriction of talking to other people, they will feel like, okay, now that, I didn't see that, I thought we are, but then I guess you're not, so it means then, the whole time, you were. You basically, you know, my sibling calls it, made up your bed. I gave you the duvet. <laughs> Egyptian sheets, Libra. Mm-hmm. So, follow me in the extended preview all the way to the end. Also in the description box, everything you need. Let's not make it complicated, Libra. I'll see you guys again. Bye. Welcome to my channel. We're doing your bi-weeklies, no dailies, until we finish this. Okay? All this March stuff. March 1 to the 15. Um, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter. Make sure you watch your uh, cosmetology for everything astrology and everything beauty.
Okay. <laughs> Here we go. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter. I always say this. Okay, so I'm just going to give you... Uh, give me 15 seconds of coaching. Okay. What you see in others is a reflection of what you are what you are inside. So if you see beauty outside, you are beautiful inside. So it comes in the perspective of inside and then inside out, you know, just like out, you know, like, just like Diana Ross had said it. Okay. So it would help you, um, I feel like, you know, especially like for, for example, for me, just, just an example, um, you know, thinking that I have a thick skin because I do project here on screen, um, but I really don't have a thick skin. I have a thick heart. Boop, boop. Okay, so I see beauty just like you. Okay, I only see beauty. The rest I don't see <laughs> because it's what's ready. Okay, here we go. That's your little food for thought for today, and that's your reading. I'm kidding. Here we go. I know you're excited. If you're excited, I am too. Let's give it a go. Marrying spread here. Two people, two tarots. We'll see what this person is doing, how the other person is responding in the extended, and how we marry the situation. Capish? Here we go. Have we started? We are. Okay. <laughs> Three of Wands. Uh, someone here is kneeling and can be proposing, but giving you the wrong size of ring. Mm. <laughs> For some, it's really, yes. It's just like, no, it's gonna fit. It's gonna fit. <laughs> okay. But they got a different size. And they're just gonna be like, it's fine, it's fine. I'll use it as a keychain. <laughs> so you still, yes. Uh, someone here can be, yeah, but it can also be just saying, I'm sorry, apologetic towards you. They're basically, um, they wanna come towards you because it's three of ones. What you have expected, they are coming soon. Relationship man is coming. Okay. Something to look forward to, I feel, for this person. Ah, told ya. That come in. You have the chariot. Someone is traveling to see you. Libra can be considered an energy. Someone who's following their dream. Uh, some normally the chariot also for me um has a good relationship with mom, which is very very good. Uh, her, mm -hmm. <laughs> Hi mom again. <laughs> <laughs> with the chart card energy here, I feel like there is um, a feeling of, how to say this, um, since they're done with something, they come to you. Okay. I don't know what they're finished. Okay. Someone here wants to buy a new car, can be also. Let's see. Under the three of what? The moon card. Interesting. Moon card always reflects, of course, uh, cancer energy. But this is double cancer. Cancer rising, cancer sun. Sun can <laughs> sun and cancer. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Sorry, I was looking at the moon. Okay, but they can this person is very emotional. They think about you, they miss you, they want you, all you. Okay. Vice versa for Ross Washer. The moon here I feel like they're trying to get your attention, but you have things that is right now that is bothering you. Not sure what it is, uh -huh. So your mind right now is not where it's not in the relationship. Let's see. Under the chariot. Nine of Wands. This person appears to be opening up to you. But they're opening up to you, but you don't even see it yet. How how high is your expectation, Libra? Because <laughs> Like, this is someone who's ready, I'm doing it, I'm doing it, okay, and you're like, okay, I don't know, okay, in reference, you know, this is the questions when you say, are you in, and they, you guys look at each other, and it's like, what do you mean, I am, <laughs> oh, okay, <laughs> you know how you have that high expectation, wink, wink, <laughs> They're trying. Nine of Wands, smart energy. If you're intimate with this person, they're trying. Because <laughs> you're puzzled. I'm not sure. Knight of Swords, your communication between the two of you. A moon in air, a little bit. Mm. You don't know if it's. If. Are you really directing your energy towards me? This is what your question with this person, Libra. You, you feel a slight sense of. Um, like, you question everything with this person. Why do you question? I don't know. Oh! Mm, sorry. Are you in? They're in. You're the first one who got this. Hierophant. 
You're questioning someone's intention towards you, and they're very, very serious. The Taurus energy, Cancer energy here. Again, how high is your expectation? Ain't no mountains high enough. Ch -ch -ch. Ain't no rivers. Uh, uh. Ain't no mountains high enough. Yeah. <laughs> Someone is trying to do here everything that they can do to be with you, but you're in question. Let me see. It's almost like you're a Virgo. <laughs> Let's see. Three of Swords. Ah, that's why. Oh, Page of Cups. Oh, look at that one in the Sun card. See, that's why I said the Sun earlier. Sun and Cancer. But this is good. You've seen... You've seen... You've seen this person change. Okay. They're better now. They're serious. They've evolved. Is it, if it's a Pokemon, they pick a Chew, they pick a You. Okay. With the Knave of Cups here, it's just a... Is it an age gap that they're questioning? If it's not about age, it's the intention of this person because they have broken your heart before with a Tree of Swords. But that's over already. A any secrets, anything that needs healing, the sun is here. This is sun in Aqua, Leo Rising. But this is also a sun in Taurus. Mm -hmm. I feel like with the Hierophant energy, they are, it's a yes. They want to be with you. But there is a lot of question that I'm still hearing here. Because you're not giving them an answer. They're proposing towards you and you're you're not sure. Why are you not sure? Why are you not sure? Because they're very sure with you. At least that's good. I'm not sure how a Libra is when they're try to, when they're trying to have questions. Questions, question, question. If it's um it's almost like a game show for you here where it's just like, you know, you have question after question after question. Can you stop asking? <laughs> because Libra it's just a yes, you know. Commitment is here. How do you question a commitment? Their intention? But make you happy. Are you stuck with the Three of Swords? So you're a Libra Scorpio, are you? Can't let go of... Okay, it's like an echo. You hurt me before, I can't trust you. You've kept secrets with me. I can't trust you with the Moon card. And they're coming to you like a blazing glory over here with the sun, you know. And like, I'm all honest now. I want to be with you. And I'm moving next to you. And I want to move in with you. Yeah, but you hurt me. <laughs> <laughs> so nothing, basically, nothing this person does will validate whatever they've, uh, they've done. You need to forgive and forget. Well, don't forget, but forgive. <laughs> Let go. Okay, so let's see how this person <laughs> interacts with you. You're putting this person into like, um, how to say this? Um, you're trying to put them, you know, through a needle, like, you know, like that kind of energy. Okay, before they can be with you. Okay, there's going to be a lot of tests, vice versa for a cross watcher. So, I'm going to continue this reading with Libra. Link down there. I wish you guys have a wonderful March 1 to the 15. I think that's it. Bye, Libra. Oh, look at the, the success key. The most luckiest card. There's the star there's this. of this relationship. They're a person that you can count on. C E O V E V E O. C E. You got a page of swords. Okay. So this is them. Okay.